Dog came in. What's the story here, Doc? So the guy dropped him off because he had a prolapsed rectum and part of his rectum hanging out of his anus. Mm -hmm. And the guy said he, he spent a lot of money on him and couldn't fix it, and so he wasn't keeping the dog anymore. So I could tell that any surgery had been done to his anus. Nobody mm -hmm. touched this place before me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we spayed her. Since she signed her signed her over to us, we spayed her and fixed her. So I put a little purse string around her anus so it can't come out. So mm -hmm. is that you, you normally admit... it's caused by diarrhea? That's okay. One that causes it straining from diarrhea. Okay. And so um, likely to recur? Or... Um, I wouldn't think so. No. Okay. It can. You know, if you get if they continue to strain and push it out, then they normally what you, once you get it scarred back in there, it's okay. And so uh, maybe we should put her on some ID, huh? Yeah, I, we're treating the sick finger in here. Mm -hmm. and I've got her on the moxicillin. Yeah, what's her name there? <laughs> I got a new right. dog to give you. Uh, yeah, which the one? Pit bull. The pit bull. Yeah. What pit bull? The one that you brought in this morning. I brought up. I didn't oh, bring a pit bull. Oh, you got Smiley over. Smiley. Oh yeah. So Rudy, um, this dog needs amoxicillin and ID. Um, the uh, doctor Lee says 500 milligrams twice a day, I believe. I'll have to look, but. Um, and then ID because she's got uh, she's got uh, diarrhea and that's what caused her her butt problem. <laughs>